Imagine I'm in the Uber right now. I just get into this car, tap the navigation on the display and tell FSD to take us from point A to point B. So let's find out how Tesla FSD handles this route. We are using the latest and greatest for hardware 3, 12.6.4 in New York. And if you're not familiar with me, my name is Anato Mohamed and I love to film Tesla full self driving videos in New York. We are making a left turn, a little bit of hesitation there. We are still stuck. That Those two cars from our left side was way far. We could easily make that left turn. Now we decided to... I really, really don't understand why the car is doing this. Like it has, it was trying to make that left turn in the very first place and then realized, hey, there is another car coming. I'm just have to brake and then brake second time. I really don't know why the hesitation is here. I also want to tell you that and inform you that before I film this video, I clear all of my cameras. So the cameras should be fine, should be no dirt or anything. So I really don't know why FSD is having a hard time seeing everything through the cameras. So we're going in this video, we're gonna also test an issue that we found on our previous video that is on at, and it, there is a navigation issues right we are gonna make a left turn but we exactly can't make a left from there because there is a do not sign on the road so what we need to do is make a right turn go and change two lane move to the left turn lane and make a u-turn but our car fsd if you watched my previous video you know that that tries to get into that do not enter road and make that left turn why where there is no way we can do it right so I really don't know what is gonna happen today, but we are gonna test that thing. But before we do that, we are gonna go to our first destination. We're gonna see how FSD handles this. And then I'm gonna, as a Uber passenger, I'm gonna also change the navigation to somewhere else. And we're gonna find out how FSD handles the whole drive, okay? So we are moving the light changed and we can definitely move very good job over there guys also let me know your new let me know it, oh my goodness let me know your opinion that what do you think about these videos the graphics and everything uh, should be fine if you don't like anything let me know in the comment what you need to, me to change in the video so please let me know in the comment right so we're going guys as you can see very good job over there so it should be a like a straightforward first drive because the destination is very easy just making left right but at the second half of the video we're gonna test those you know like uh, critical things so slowed down a tiny bit while we don't need to but the car is being cautious not a problem at all very good job over there we are almost to our first destination i'm gonna change the navigation after that so we're gonna also find out if fsd just stop in the middle of the road or it just goes into that you know like there is little space so that we can just move over there and uh, stay over there so our car is getting in very good uh perfectly done wow it should keep a distance to that car it just comes very close to that car which i don't like why because i'm gonna change the navigation and we're gonna you know go and have to get out from this area but if we don't have a space our car doesn't have that capabilities to back out right reverse like fsd 13 so let's find out guys i'm gonna change the navigation right now let's do it so i changed the navigation i'm pressing slightly to tell the car go but we cannot right now because as i told you we can't reverse so what i'm gonna do is reverse myself and then i'm gonna engage it one more time okay so i'm gonna engage it one more time let's do it there is no fsd icon till now now we can do so our car should proceed now i had to press that acceleration one more time we should definitely proceed really don't know why fsd is taking its time there is no vehicle from our left now there is a vehicle two vehicle actually and after that we should go there is another one right now very good fsd is taking its time right now so very good it should just immediately proceed very good job over there right uh very nicely done but the first place is when it parked it shouldn't just go that close to that you know like a car in front of us because 
we can't reverse right guys so we are proceeding and we are making the first um uh we already made that first uh route and now we're going to the second route and the third route will be that where we're going to test that uh, big issues and now there will be another issue that we're going to make a right turn there's a shell gas station there they have like a gas price in red and green the car also gets hesitant over there so we're going to test all those things guys let's find out how FSD actually deal with this thing so we are proceeding as you can see a little bit of tiny braking over there because of the dog probably uh, the car realized hey it's probably gonna come uh, so it just breaks a tiny bit and then immediately proceeding so that's the green light I'm talking about uh, the light changed to red we are gonna move to the right lane because we're gonna make a right turn but we can definitely make a right turn here uh, on this red light but you'll see the car will not proceed you see we, there is no vehicle on from our right side there is no vehicle from our left side but we can definitely make a right turn the light change you see still we're not proceeding hesitation but now we are proceeding there is a car again hesitation really don't know why so now i'm telling the car to make this right turn but it is trying i'm i'm keep pressing that acceleration guys so that you understand and now we are proceeding very good job over there so make that right turn but it takes its time and i had to assist so much i had to press probably five or six times to that acceleration and tell the car please go very close to that uh, parked car while going it could just easily move to the left side a tiny bit i know i'm telling so many things which could be like i could have like not just mentioned those but i really prefer to do that so you understand where the car could behave like a human if there is a double parked car or parked car in the road i would definitely make a little space right so i'm gonna change the navigation right now to test that so let's do it guys so yep i just rerouted and this time i'm seeing the navigation is saying something different today yesterday the navigation couldn't figure it out so we're gonna see how FSD handles. We're gonna stop here and then we're gonna look on our left side. If there is no vehicle, what we're gonna do, we're gonna proceed and move to the left lane all the way and then make a U-turn. If you're seeing that, the GPS has something different to tell us. So let's find out how FSD handles. So immediately should proceed. Wow, this is unbelievable, guys. This is unbelievable. And now we're gonna make a U-turn. Wow, over the night, I feel like it got fixed. Like, unbelievable, guys. I'm gonna play that yesterday's clip so you understand why the car makes mistake, but... Okay, there is no GPS right now. The GPS is completely saying... It is trying to go into the <laughs> do not enter sign. Okay, so that's a big issue. I'm gonna keep... Wow, this is a new thing. Are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. In today's video, the car did everything perfectly without any problem unbelievable guys i definitely have some issues in the beginning of the video but this is unbelievable because i tested that i was like probably the car would do the same thing but because the re like the routing on the navigation was saying us to do that the car did it amazing guys amazing just amazing guys i'm gonna change the navigation one more time just to go somewhere else so let's do it guys We cannot just make this left turn here. Can we? It is trying. No. Okay, so I just changed the navigation somewhere else. And our car had to do some hard work over there, but now it is gonna decide what it's gonna do. It's gonna reroute from a different road right now because the navigation was showing us to make a left, but we were all the way on the right lane, so we cannot just go on the left over there. So just the navigation reroute us from a different road. 
and uh, this is also a new road I don't normally drive here so we're gonna find out how FSD handles very good job over there just making that right turn we're gonna make another right probably make another left turn so let's find out how FSD does things here very good job over there right guys also we're gonna play a game right now my name is Naro Mohammed I'm gonna tell you a number right now okay I'm gonna tell you a number what you're gonna do is write down that number in the comment section okay or whatever you want like just tell any habit you have what do you like about FSD what do you like about Tesla whatever you want or any comment about this video how can I improve and stuff like that right so what I'm gonna do okay giving a space to that truck very good so the number will be the number will be one I never give that number before number one just comment number one or whatever you want in this comment section so that I know you watch the clip till now and uh, please hit that subscribe button guys that will really really help me as a content creator so please 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 hit that subscribe button i'll be really grateful please thank you so much guys so we are just two minutes away from our destination guys so hopefully it will be an amazing video um i'm very confused about that shell situation because of that two grass prices over there is marked as red and green so i'm pretty sure fsd gets confused about that there is no other way fsd gets confused because the light change on the top traffic light red to green it shows in the graphics but because of that the computer is um the, how can i describe the computer is uh you know like trained something like that that if you see red light you're gonna do just you know like break over there or hesitate over there or slow down over there right or stop go forward something like that but when it says green red together it gets confused and it doesn't seem like not a like circle or something so I definitely think if Tesla AI trained that model a tiny bit that if you see something green then you stop and if you something see green red like green uh, uh, circle you just proceed right so I, I don't know if I, I messed it up but what I tr I'm trying to say is green circle means you can go red circle you have to stop this is what I'm I try to mean so um, it is very hard when you are focusing on the road and also talking so I really that's why I appreciate AI driver because he always record the video and then do the voiceover but I'm also very lazy to do that just want to share with you guys so yeah guys I'm gonna end the video here hopefully you got that idea how FSD does in real day in the life so very good guys i am I'm, I'm impressed but i'm just confused that on one section that how fsd got stuck over there and get confused because of that shell gas price red and green color um that makes me upset but i really hope that tesla ai team will fix that and i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching guys i'm really 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 grateful thank you thank you thank you i love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.